so depending on where you live and sort of what you live in, you may have, well you will have, but you may have your own water tank or you know you may have one that you share with three or four neighbours or if you live in some sort of apartment complex or block of flats with a multitude of other residents and these are basically just big boxes, big tanks, either underground or you know inside walls and lofts that are filled with water pretty simply and they supply you know your bath water, your tap water, your sink water, whatever all your water just comes through that it's just like a storage point for the mass of water you intake why am I mad about this? <laughs> well there's no very strict you know security, not security but checks, regulations on these, they are checked somewhat frequently but it's like they'll do a pH test on the water and if you have any concern you can report it and they'll come out and check it but they very very rarely check the tanks and they aren't very hard to get to so that's kind of why but you know with innovation of how cheap it is now to buy you know a waterproof round through camera you know it, it's so much easier and the reason I'm bringing this up is something that terrified me Basically, it is incredibly, incredibly easy for small animals, rats, birds, you know, road like little suburban animals to accidentally get in, get trapped, die and decompose in your water tank. And it can take up to a year of them being decomposed in your water tank for you to be able to taste a difference. They'll be in there, you'll be drinking them, you'll be drinking the little bits of decomposed flesh, but you won't be able to taste it for a year, and by that point, it's grim, you know? You've been drinking dead animal for a year. And even worse, there are f quite a few, way more than I thought there would be, cases of dead humans. Humans being in water tanks for extended periods of time. Everyone knows the Elise, uh, Eliza Lamb case, where she was in there for a few months, and people thought that was so weird, that never happened, that was just a huge, complicated case, but no, it happens incredibly frequently. People end up in water tanks, die in water tanks, drown, and stay in there, because how they're going to get out, and they rot, and decompose, and spread into the water. I read this case about a boy who went missing, was in a water tank, dead, for 18 years, and that water tank was attached to a school, and they were still using it. A school. That's your water fountains. That's washing your hands. And you know, it could be, a school could be, you know, 50 to 2,000 people. And every single one of them was using this decomposing body tainted water. It's grim, it's revolting, it's upsetting. <laughs> And it happens, and chances are right now, as of making this, and as of when you're watching this, someone, somewhere, something, somewhere, animal, person, is dead, decomposing in a water tank. That's shocking. And the only way to check that is to get into a water tank, which is an incredibly hard thing to do, and a thing that even water companies very rarely do. <laughs> so what do you do? I don't know. Maybe stop drinking tap water. That's what I, I, I don't drink that well, but still. Um, and also, like, that's a huge concern, but I'm not even covering, you know, things like potential lead poisoning, things like potential P pH interference, potential, you know, um, waste getting into your water, like what happened in France, you know? I'm not even touching on that, which is 10 times more common than this. And even this is horrifying. I. I I'm just going to stop trusting public water now. Might might figure out how to make it for my own hydrogen and oxygen because that's disgusting and it could be happening right now. There's no way for me now to know if there's someone dead in my water tank and I can't check my water tank. You can't check your water tank. You can try. Someone's beeping. Um, let's hope there isn't. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bit of a weird one, but it's really freaked me out and I had to get out. Maybe don't, but maybe do go and enjoy a nice cold glass of water now. Hope. Hope there's no flakes of flesh in it.